Oh, what a time to be alive. On a rainy morning in Lagos, Nigeria, Plus TV Africa's Tea Time is here to serve the tea to kickstart your day and keep you warm in whichever way that tickles your fancy. Remember, you can be a part of the show by sending your messages to 090-6000-5719. I am Ife Oshunke, and joining me this morning is Cece the Ginger. Ooh. Ooh. You never get old when you talk about that ginger, you know. <laughs> How are you Hi, doing? Hi, I'm good, I'm good. You look nice. Thank you. You fresh, know, I was coming clean. this morning and I was like, okay, no need to dress up warm because I'm coming to see Ife. You know these proud people, <laughs> eh? They just say, you know, no need to dress <laughs> up because I woke up like this. You know, I just woke up amazing. It's not you make me warm. Get the vibe. You're, you're, you keep me warm. Jaru in the beauty. We'll wait behind the scene to see whether I can actually keep it warm. But before then, let's just do the stories to keep you guys warm first so that you don't get your mind sturdy. And uh, you know, it's the morning. First up, having risen to the top of a male dominated industry, Nigerian singer, songwriter Yemi Alade mm -hmm. has been appointed as Goodwill Ambassador for the United Nations Development Program, UNDP. Before we share our thoughts about it, take a look at the video. It gives me great pleasure to welcome Nigerian superstar Yemi Alade as the newest Goodwill Ambassador of the United Nations Development Program. An accomplished singer, songwriter, actress and activist, Yemi needs no introduction to her 17 million followers on social media. Yemi joins the United Nations family at a critical time. COVID-19 has widened the gap between the rich and the poor. And I look forward to lending my voice to those who are suffering the most from the social economic impact of COVID-19. I'm ready to pull up my sleeves and work hard hand in hand with UNDP to ensure a green and equitable recovery for all. It's the only way we can recover better and stronger. It's the only way we can achieve the sustainable development goals by 2030. And I'm super, super ready to give my all, my voice to the course and the mission of the UNDP. And that is so amazing. Shout so out to Yemi Alade. She's been winning lately, you know, but recently. Like... We spoke about um, the fact that she was selected to speak on the climate change al al along other notable celebrities, mm. you know, mm. global celebrities. And now this is happening, you know, being a goodwill ambassador. Mm. And right now, you know, we've been seeing all this ambassadorial roles that a lot of people come True. up with. And at the end of the day, UN will come out and say, no, we're not part of this people or we don't have anything <laughs> to do with this. Are you trashed right thing. now? Uh, well, ah, whoever ah, owns the yeah. sub should please catch it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but at the end of the day, what I think is that <laughs> this one, she has backing and then she's mm. out here for a good cause. I mm. like the things that she's supporting right now, the things that mm. she's working hand in hand with. And the fact that she's being seen like that is amazing because, you know, she's always represented the African culture. Yeah. With the looks, her music, whatever she does, she has always represented mm. Africa. So I love the fact that an African like Yemi Alade is putting us on the globe. I mean, map. I agree with you 100% about your perceptions on Yemi Alade being an ambassador to the UNDP. And another thing is that I, I find out that this period she's more vocal about mm. what she feels if it's the government she comes out she speaks about it she's using a platform to sensitize and preach you know unity and peace i mean two days back i think she posted something on twitter about how when uh, a, a, a woman cheats or when a man cheats on a woman and everybody just sort of blame the woman I that you're the reason that. you're the reason why or oh, your husband went out and she was like oh no the um the feeling that women have to bear every everything when it comes to something going wrong has to really change and then she has a very bigger platform now to speak on behalf of women and that's amazing yeah that's really and i amazing. also like the fact that a lot of people are not giving up on this covid 19 fight because a lot of people still out there still feel like it's over it's not <laughs> over <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, understand? you see a lot of people moving around without their masks <laughs> without oh my God. Um, are maintaining social distancing. I'm telling you, you just, you just need you know, to stand at the more park. like it's over, but I it's see. really not over. So, oh, um, initiatives like this that would help, you know, ease the pandemic and help people still keep people aware because when stuff like this are being done, we're still talking about the pandemic. So those that are at the back of their mind, you, you know, I was talking to somebody like today, COVID-19 is still there, and I just looked like, okay, I thought you were enlightened, but... 
You people, get... people really need to know. They just believe that, oh, we're black, we're Nigeria, COVID-19 cannot affect us. We have the strongest system. I'm telling you the word. Dettino, they keep black man. Yeah, Dettino, they keep black man. So, <laughs> <laughs> you never will kill. If you kill at least, mm. So everybody has to take proper caution. And I love the fact that these celebrities, they have a huge following. Yeah. I mean, Yamila Alade's following is huge. She celebrated all over Africa. And seeing her in that position will, you know, make her a mouthpiece to reach the deepest and the Grass, creakiest yes, places all, yeah. in Africa. And that's really, really amazing. Amazing stuff. Big shout out to you, Yemi Alade. Woman of steel. All right, so <laughs> Chidi Mike is being dragged for failing to give Erika mm. the car he promised her after she was disqualified from Big Brother Niger. A member of the reality TV stars team, Mike Premium, took to social media where he dragged the car dealer for failing to redeem the Mercedes Benz and 2 million Naira he promised her. According to him, Chidi Mike said he would only give Erika the sum of 500,000 Naira after she signs a contract with him and then a balance of 1.5 million like my mind on life for real why did you even come out you know that's there are a lot the of point. cloud chasers everywhere but yeah. what's your take but that's the point that's what many people don't even understand i saw online how many were dragging erica and be like oh do you have 500k if 500k is he is he paper do they pick it from the floor mm. but you made you made a promise you even posted the car you posted a car you made it, I mean, it's clear that he did it for cloud chasing. Mm -hmm. And nobody should come at Erica's team. And people were like, why did you come out on social media to say um, he didn't give us the money? Why didn't you co connect with him personally? But he came out to say it in public. I'm giving like Eric I two million help. and a car. Mm -hmm. If you knew you, it was going to be like a deal, then you would come out and be like, oh, I, have I will offer. work. Or I have an offer for Erica. I can't wait to work with you. If you come out that way, everybody would understand. No. You can't just come out and promise, and all of a sudden you're telling us it's 500k you want to pay. If it's even 1 million, you say we we'll manage it. 500,000. <laughs> I mean, what do you think about this matter, Kid Wire? Erica, right now. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I don't think it's why I will be thinking about to, how to make money. You know, we move X and give T the same like, you know? say, let me just hold this five million to, to boost your conscience, right? Maybe we should have supported the cause of Terry Wire when he said he was going to give you Kid at oh one, God. but Kid, unfortunately, didn't win the show. <laughs> so Erica is not getting half of the money, unfortunately mm. for her. But I'm sure Erica is in a good place. I'm sure she's going to be yeah, great. Yeah, sure I mean, do yeah, and I like, I like the strategy she's taking. Yeah. She's not just putting herself out there. You know how when you come out from the house, you want to do all the media rounds. Of course, media rounds are good. They put you in the spotlight and everything. But you can see the, the pattern she's taking. She's holding back, keeping people in suspense, you know, granting a few interviews here and there. And I know when she's definitely going to come out, she's going to come out with a bang, you know, showing all her endorsements, showing all uh, everything that she's working towards. And it's actually a good thing. See what happened with David O. He went away for like three months. Mm. And when he came back, Everybody Fem. went crazy. We came back with them. You know, the social media went blazing. So I think this mm. is a new pattern mm. for celebrities right mm. now. Just let me hold back. Many people, my intention small. When I come, I come with a bang. You know? Bang, da da dang. Da -dang. And we will be right back with a bang as tea time continues right after this break. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Right <laughs> oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still make music and people are still buying. Sometimes I they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, really? 
welcome back to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. The Oshindaira brothers have long claimed they were paid by Jussie Smollett to stage a hate crime against him because he was unhappy with the salary on the show Empire, if you remember that. Jussie Smollett, who was fired from Fox TV show Empire after being accused of staging a hate crime against himself in early 2019, has repeatedly maintained his innocence. And in a new motion filed by his legal team, he argues the second indictment is invalid. On the other hand, Justice Smollett has always maintained his innocence and filed a motion to dismiss the charges against him, which include one for allegedly filing false police report in the motion filed on 9 September and released on Tuesday, September 22nd. Smollett's legal team argues the indictment was based on illegal and incompetent evidence gathered from Abel Oshundairo and Ola Oshundairo during the initial investigation into Smollett, which was later ruled invalid. <laughs> <sighs> well, it's all called Oboro you both feed. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you it's think? It's magical. Though? I mean, it's it happened last year, mm. and till now we're still on this case. I get it that. Um, I, I can't really say, oh, he's lying, or the brothers are lying, or whatnot, but this was something that was, an investigation was carried out, and it was found out that he staged the crime. So, allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly staged the crime. But I feel like there's a bit of truth in that. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of us think, well, the train of thought that, um, of course, Josie must have had a hand in um, what happened to him, yeah. right? But we can't say that, right? Because we're not the law. We're not the court of law to, to be in that position to say a man is guilty, innocent until you proven guilty. In as much as I may share that train of thought with you, I may, I didn't say I do, but I may share that train of thought, but I still believe that until this man is proven guilty, that I think he should be allowed to walk free and everything dropped against him. When you have something concrete against this, because I think it's dragging too long. No, I think yeah. it's even beginning yeah. to ruin him more than I think it's even He's beginning even, yes, to help him course. more than it was supposed to ruin him because if you do that type of thing and then you've been in the news since last year this guy has been relevant I want to has I'm, he I'm, though because the only thing we hear it's been about relevant because yeah. we talk about him on, on okay cases. we talk about him but does it give him movie roles does it give him deals you don't know does what other money things. in his pocket you know there's this saying especially in the entertainment industry I like to say it, it's not it's not applicable all the time but there is no such thing as bad publicity do you understand yeah but let me tell you something there is nothing, no such thing as bad publicity but there's one thing I know about these big brands international brands once your name is involved in something that is bad or not too good they would dissociate their from you okay the same so, thing that happened with me canon i hope you know that the lgbt com lgbtq community is solidly behind jossie right because he's, he's a member of the lgbt community so i want to believe that even are if they, he's not though, gay, like with all this them, coming up that he staged the crime but against himself, you, you, even with al with kelly with all the things that have come up against al kelly al kelly still has fans he still has people that get on the streets and march do you understand saying free al kelly free al kelly this is somebody that has been charged with seven um, different um, criminal charges, right? But it's still our supporters. A lot of people will still tell you that a president of a certain country, I'm not calling countries now, is not good mm. enough. But this president still mm. have supporters. This politician still have supporters. So whatever it is in life, just know that there will be people that will be behind you. So those people that are behind him, you don't know what he's getting. This is a celebrity. He hasn't come out true to though, file, file bankruptcy. Like, I don't true have any though, money anymore. Though. He's been going to court. How is he funding though. it? Probably somebody is even paying for all these cases. Do yeah, you understand? Like, that's true. That's so true. I think he's even helping him a whole lot more. Now, I just want it to be over with are we going to excuse me sorry are we going to charge this guy or are we going to let him go that's it's the truth time. though it's about time where we just move away from all this oh i did it or oh, i didn't do it because truthfully back then when i was reading the story there were already established connection between him and the osundari brothers even before this stuff happened so he made it all so believable that he was on to pay them he has actually worked out with them. It's something like they were his personal trainers or something in the mm. past. And then all of a sudden, these same guys are assaulting you and, you know, throwing racial slurs at you and everything. So I am of the belief that, yes, he may have done that to gain more recognition. Imagine that period where it happened. Mm. There was no news blog that wasn't carrying it. There was no celebrity who wasn't coming out and, you know, standing all behind him and said it's not so, it's not well, a Well, a lot of them don't stand, stand him anymore, don't they? They don't stand. Their, their stand is very weak. 
It's That's a weak stand. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we need to go on a quick break and tea time. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? Oh, yeah. and plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Minimal mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, really? <laughs> 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 Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Moving on to the next story, Ghanaian actress Tracy uh, I said, I have given work to those who constantly criticize my body and I need to be rewarded. My only concern is that they will end up getting high blood pressure for constantly monitoring my life. As we call them in Nigeria, <laughs> monitoring spirits, right? <laughs> well, oh my God. I think, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Of course. As a celebrity, as a public figure, in mm. my opinion, you mm. get trolled. People mm. will talk about your body. People will talk True. about your nose. People True. will talk about your tongue. They will talk about, about you. your intestine that you don't even Everything see. They'll say things. And I think it's just normal for celebrities to be spoken about. So when you think you need to be rewarded, then... The hmm. truth is that if you are a celebrity, you have to wear, put on a very hard skin. Yeah. Put on a hard skin that you don't allow things to affect you. Yes, you're, you're human. And most times, yeah, the talks may affect you one way or the other. But by the time you start reacting to these people, it only be begins to get worse for you as a personality. So most times when people come to talk about a celebrity, I just feel like... You don't really need to react. Now she's saying she's created a lot of jobs for many Ghanaians because now they, they, they don't talk have... talk about her. Yeah, know. of course, definitely. To me, in Nigeria or anywhere in Africa, if you're a celebrity, like we talked about just a small now, if you're a celebrity and people are talking about you, it's making you more relevant. If like nobody you... talks about you, mm. then you are nobody. nobody. Oh. Let's hit the studio, bro. My young. <laughs> Let's do this. So the, the, the truth is that she needs to take a chill pill. People are talking about her. She even needs to give them so many things to talk about, trust me. Mm -hmm. If I were to be a celebrity of which soon Plus TV Africa is going to make me one, hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> so if I were to be a celebrity, I would definitely want to be on the lips of people forever. Like take for ex example, Idris Abdul Karim, he goes for these interviews. Mm. Although he is, oh yeah, he released one song two years back or something. But he goes for He just for dropped the... an album recently, funny enough, Idris oh, Abdul oh, Karim wow. just dropped oh, an wow. album. Oh, he did. Case people don't know about <laughs> that. <laughs> so the truth is that you have to do things to be out there in the public. That's the truth. And, you know, this is happening to her right now. People are talking about her, how she's dressing and everything. She needs to put on a thick skin and just keep living life. Living the baby girl life and not allowing anything get to her. And then, madam, well, maybe you need to be rewarded because if you don't talk about you, how am I going to get paid? So I keep mean, giving us content, you understand you me? No. Well, it's all good. <laughs> well, let's move on to the next story. Okay. Sorry about that, Tracy Boachi, but man, live your life. It's your best life, it's the life you chose. Mm -hmm. So, this is coming from Sa Uti, popularly called Uti Uachuku. If you love too hard, you will stay. Just stay single because people in this generation don't appreciate that physics anymore. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it oh is God. what it is. It is what, what it, it is. is. <laughs> right. So um, I, I feel like this, this, this. Um, what do you call it? This, um, uh, this um, advice was going somehow to Ozo. Mm. You know, he's a hard lover. Mm -hmm. He's a preacher of love. He's mm. not war. Mm. He's not an Indabuski Babuze. Mm. Mm -hmm. He's a preacher of love. Mm -hmm. But, but I, 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 you know, well, I understand with him, if you're a hard lover, you have to relax, take a chill pill. I don't think there are any hard lovers in Nigeria. Sorry, Ozo's case was actually very different and they it surprised me. 
I don't think there is. Are they really hard lovers? Yeah, I'm one. I think they are hard, more heartbreakers I'm in Nigeria. One. Yeah. I love hard, like, Give, for real. Give me that job, I, I love it. Uh, Ooh. Okay. <laughs> now she's going to make me blush on, on national television, but let's, let's just, oh let's just focus. Let's focus on our focus right oh, now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, let's focus. Focus, yeah. focus. focus boys and yeah. girls. <laughs> so all the same way, though, I don't think, I don't know, not everybody can be a relationship advisor. But it's as if almost all celebrities want to come out and mm. then give you one thing or the other about a relationship. If you are a hard lover, it's your choice. Mm. And perhaps you will find somebody who loves those kind of, you know, stifling, attention, you know, loving you. So the way Azal loved Nengi, there are girls out there who would appreciate it. And there are some people who wouldn't appreciate it like Nengi. Mm. But if you're a hard lover, it doesn't mean that you have to relax and, you know, take it easy and everything. Brother, I'm looking for a hard lover. Look for me. Oh, okay. no, you say you're a hard lover. So you've been found? I've been found. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, I think you've said it all. And um, yeah. like Uti said, if you love really hard, uh, maybe you should stay single. I don't know how true that is. I think um, there's somebody for everyone. So yeah, if you course. love hard, still keep searching. Love will definitely find you. And yeah, on that note, we're you. sending our love to everyone watching out there. And thank you for watching. Join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time. Or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on our previous episodes, including this episode, and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Now to TV and in London on Ben Television. A, ben, a big thank you goes to my co-anchor, Cece the Ginger. the Ginger. And the entire production team, <laughs> my name is Ife Oshunke. <laughs>